migrating your friends from your personal profile on Facebook to a Facebook business page while keeping your friends on your personal profile. This is one of the most powerful things you could do. Uh, this is really designed for people that have been using their personal profile for business uses or you want to go ahead and connect up all the people on your personal profile. You can only do this once, so make sure you're connected up with all the people that you want to be connected with before you do this. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and uh, log in under our personal profile. Here I am logged in under one of my clients' accounts, MJ Williams. We're going to type into the browser the new tab, businesssuccesstraining.com forward slash migrate. That's going to redirect us to this page uh, within the Facebook interface. Uh, you really should do this from your desktop or your laptop, not from a cell phone. And then you press the green button. Now it's going to go ahead and walk you through here. First off, the page category, since she's a real estate agent, we're going to type in real estate agent and real estate. You can choose up to three categories. The meat of this lesson is now we can go ahead and either select all of our friends that we're connected to to like our business page, or let's say that we didn't want Larry to like our page, we would just deselect them. But we're going to go ahead and reselect them. We're then going to click next. Now we have the option, let's say we've been putting a lot of videos and stuff up on our personal profile pictures, we can choose those albums and migrate them over. For this example, we are not going to choose any of those because I'm not sure which one she would want to choose. We review that everything is correct and uh, we'll go ahead and just press the blue button that says create page. It does its thing and when it pops back up, voila, we've created a business page. Now you'll notice the cover image here is set up just like uh, her personal profile as is the uh, profile picture. So we're going to be changing those out uh, in, in the remainder of this lesson. There are a bunch of things that we could do to customize this page, but I'm only going to focus on a few of them here in the video. The most important things. The main thing we've done here is we've created a business page and we have a lot of people liking your page, people that know you, like you, and trust you. So if we go up to the, to the top, you would see that we have MJ Williams page. We're going to eventually change that to MJ Williams Realtor. If we come over here on the left side, we go to community, you can see we already have 398 likes and 442 followers. So this literally took a few minutes and we've achieved what we've wanted to achieve. If you don't have a business page, now you have a business page created, it just needs to be customized. I want to show you how to rename your Facebook business page now that it's been migrated because right now it's called MJ Williams page. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the left column over here where it says about. We're going to look for where it says name. We're going to click edit and then we're going to go ahead and simply rename it MJ Williams Realtor. Let's say you're going to do a merge though. You're going to want to name it the same thing as your existing page. You'll press continue. Uh, it'll say uh, please confirm that the request the change. It may take up to three days and require additional information. That's where you may have to send a message to customer service or answer other questions. You press request change and there you go. It's now under review. Now how to claim your vanity URL. We already have our page set up. You can see that we got uh, 443 followers but we want to claim the vanity URL so it doesn't have these ugly numbers up here. We want something that's brandable that we could put on our business cards or on our flyers. It's really easy to do. This isn't to be confused with renaming the page. What we do is we left click on the hyperlink there that says create page at username. We just type in the username we want, MJ Williams Realtor. That's taken, so we add FL. We go ahead and we create username by right clicking on the blue button there in the box. Go ahead and customize your Facebook business page a little bit further. Uh, the cut picture that transferred over was our picture of our friend MJ riding her horse. Uh, that's not what we want on our business page, so we're going to go ahead and hover over Change Cover. We're going to go ahead and cl uh, click on Upload Picture. We're going to choose the picture by pressing Open. It's going to upload the picture and voila, we'll have a still picture that's more appropriate for the business page. Uh, you could also upload a video from 20 seconds to 90 seconds, or you could create a slideshow with multiple pictures.
I'm going to show you how to edit and customize the look further. Specifically, how do we go ahead and edit these tabs? So what do you do? You go up here to settings, right below um, all this stuff up here. In the right-hand corner, we left-click on that. We go to the tab over here called Edit Page. And here you can see that there's different templates in place. She does have a proper one set up called Services. Though we could go with a business if you own the brokerage or you own a store. Uh, if you wanted to do any of these other ones like a nonprofit or polit politician, I know I've got a member that's running for office. We have these options available to you. But uh, we're going to leave it as services, but we want to change these tabs. So what I'm going to uh, do, I have, uh, I can either use the default tabs by flipping this switch on, and here's the tabs we have in place. If I wanted to move her about section up, I could go ahead and move that up. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to remove shop and offers. All I do to do that is I go here and I flip it off. Now it's disabled. I click save and I do the same thing with offers. I disable it and I click save. Um, in the future, if I want to send somebody directly to the review tab, I would just copy this review tab right here by pressing copy URL. And now I can message somebody, hey, can you write me a quick review? Now to publish your business page, it's really simple. Even though we should probably change the logo, we'll just press the green button that says publish page. It'll pop open a window. We'll say publish it. And as soon as we do that, it is now visible to the public. If we ever wanted to make it unvisible, we'd just go into the settings and you can do that through the general tab. So I hope you've gotten a ton out of this uh, session. We covered a number of different things in terms of customizing your business page. And uh, uh, at the end, uh, you will end up with a page that'll look better and better. Uh, continue to invite people to like your page. We'll show you that in some other modules. If you're not part of our group coaching program, please uh, consider joining it. As you go through this, we have a private Facebook group you could jump into, ask questions. There's all sorts of mini lessons like this, far beyond what we can cover at the seminar, what we provide there. So um, really encourage you to move in that direction if, you, uh, if you're ready. If not, I hope you got something out of this and uh, keep us up to date on your success. Message us uh, your business page. We'll be sure to uh, like it and follow your, your progress. See at the top, this is Steve Black. If you need to reach us, 770-375-5208.